we're going to show you how to connect a desktop printer to a computer. It seems to be an issue um, or a task that is causing one or two issues. So we just decided to take you through the bones of it and give you some kind of procedure. So let's just get into it. We're going to use a Canon TS705, but 99% of desktop printers are the same. We're also going to do this from a download file. Many laptops and desktops these days do not have CD drives, CD-ROMs, so that you have to go online to get an appropriate driver. So let's do that. Let's cut the waffle and get straight into it. Um, let's go to the Canon website, and we're after support. So if you click support, hit downloads and help, get into drivers, and there we go. You've got an area, select your product. Ours is a Pixma TS705, and they will offer you um, what's available. Available drivers, there we go. It's recognized our operating system is a Windows 10 64-bit, and the drivers they're recommending for us. You've got the full driver package, which you can download. Um, yeah probably the right thing to do, or you can download the individual drivers. Um, I'm going to download just the individual driver to take you through it so that it shows you some kind of procedure. So there we go. Click to accept. You can see there a little message, keep. Whilst it's downloading, what you need to do is get your printer, connect the power to it, don't turn it on, connect the USB lead in the back of the printer into your computer. At this point, you haven't turned the printer on. So we've downloaded our driver. Let's just double click. Yes, and here it goes. And all you're doing is following the online screen instructions. So. Start setup. Just advising you to clear the path of any firewalls, etc. Checking items to be downloaded. This can take a while, so there isn't a lot we can do about it. Um, and I'm going to show it live so that you can see what we've taken out and what we haven't taken out. So a little bit of patience is going to be required on your part. Yeah, what we find is that sometimes people get it wrong. They panic or they turn the printer on and then the computer automatically creates um, a USB folder for it or a USB port. And when you come to print, you go through the process, you select the printer, hit the print button and nothing happens. Invariably, it's because you've got two instances of the printer on your system. To overcome that, you need to really delete one instance or delete them both and reload again and just follow this simple procedure. It's just a bit time consuming in terms of the downloading but it's simply enough as a procedure. There we go, we're on number 10, number 11 of 11 and we're off. Select the country, that's selected correctly. You have to accept the end user license agreement and agree to it. And here we go, we're off. Next, 
Now it's going to go off and install the drivers, as you can see. And even, well, that's fairly quickly, isn't it? About three minutes. But I, I would disregard that. It'll do it as and when it wants to do it. It doesn't take long. There we go. Now, it's asking printer connection and it wants to connect automatically. I'm going over to the printer at this point. I've just turned it on. You may have heard something there. There we go. It's found it. What it's now doing is setting up a port. And it's already done that and it's going to offer us a test print. So let's go off and uh, hit the start button. You may be able to hear the printer firing up there in the background. There we go. And I've got off a perfect print. And that's all there is to it. And I've stupidly pressed the start button twice. Didn't need to do that. So I've got two test prints. So next, setup is complete. Next. And it's going to offer you whatever software you want, etc. Just follow the disk, have a look at it and see what you want from that. I don't particularly want any, so I'm done. So, next. How to set up from a smartphone. I don't need to do that. Hit the instructions and follow the on-screen instructions there. 